Welcome to Easy Elim Learning Simplified. My name is Ruth and today we are going to be doing from two mathematics. The topic of the day is quadratic expressions and equations. And our subtopic today is uh, quadratic equations in the case where the coefficients are fractional. So in the previous lesson, we solved these quadratic equations and these equations had whole numbers. There were no fractions. So for this lesson, we are going to be solving a quadratic equation, factorizing it, solving for the value of x, but now our equation is made up of fractions. So the first thing you notice when you get such a question is to change the fraction into whole. I always encourage this. And you can this, do this by getting the LCM of the denominator. So when you repeat this equation, for example, this is 1 over 4 minus 1 over 9, x squared is equal to 0. So this is over 1. So the LCM is for 4 and 9. So this is the same as that 4 times 9, which is 36. The LCM is 36. So this means you need to go back to your concepts for LCM in form 1 and be able to practice that before you continue. So the LCM, you multiply by LCM, which is 36. You multiply by 36, and you multiply by 36. So by 4, 1, by 4, 9, so this becomes 9, minus my 9, 1 by 9, 4, becomes 4x squared is equal to 0 times 36 becomes 0. So you see this changes everything. And then the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to change up the equation so that I can, I can make it easier for myself. So you move this, this side and also the 9 the other side. So it becomes 4x squared minus 9 is equal to 0. So I've just changed up the value of x to make the work a bit easier. So now we are working with 4x squared minus 9 is equal to 0. So our a, b is 4 times 9, which gives us negative 36. And our b, which is not given, tells us that it is 0. So we need two numbers. If you multiply them, you get negative 36. And if you add them, you get 0. And these numbers is negative 6 and 6. If you multiply negative 6 times 6, you get negative 36. If you add negative 6 plus 6, you get 0. So that is what we have. So this becomes 4x squared minus 6x plus 6x minus 9 is equal to 0. So you group these two. So the common value here is 2x. So for it becomes 2x such that if you open, it becomes 4x squared minus 3. So that if you open, it becomes 2x times 3, we get 6x. What is common here is 3. So it becomes 2x minus 3 is equal to 0. So you can see these values inside are the same. Always ensure that. So we have 2x plus 3 and 2x minus 3. So is equal to 0. So we have 2x plus 3 is equal to 0. So you pick minus 3 this side, it becomes 2x is equal to minus 3. Divide by 2, divide by 2 to get x is minus 3 over 2. And then uh, 2x minus 3 is equal to 0. You take minus 3, the other side becomes 2x is equal to 3. Divide by 2, divide by 2. So the other value of x is 3 over 2. And that is your answer. So let's do a, a bit more practice. I think the, the biggest thing with fractions is you have to get the LCM. So we have this question, 3 over 2x squared minus 8 over x is equal to 16. So this is 3 over x squared minus 8 over x is equal to 16. So let's rearrange our equation first before we get the LCM. So this is going to be 3 over x squared minus 8 over x minus 16 is equal to 0. So what I did is just bringing the 16 the other side to get minus 16. So if I get uh, the denominators, the LCM, the LCM in this case is going to be x squared and x. So it is x, x1, then x11. One, one. Even, if, even if our denominator are unknown, you can actually get the LCM. 
you just put the values as they are and it's going to work out like i have done which is x squared and x so the common or the common factor is x which divides to get x and one then x one one so our lcm is x squared so that is what we multiply with x squared we multiply by x squared and we multiply by x squared all the places x squared so x squared will cancel with x squared and you're left with three minus one of the x cancels with one so you're left with that so it becomes 8x minus 6x 16x squared is equals to zero and a value multiplied by zero is zero so the next thing I can do, I can work out my question as it is, or I can change things up. I can take values in the other side so that my value of x might be positive. So this gives me 16x squared plus 8x minus 3. So the minus 16x goes to the other side and becomes positive. Minus x, x becomes positive and then 3 becomes negative. And it is still equals to zero because the zero comes this other side all right so i can make my work even easier again by uh, but in this case it might not work so a b is going to be 16 times negative 3 which is going to give us uh, 48 negative 48 and then our sum which is 8 so you have two numbers such that if you multiply them you get negative 48 and if you add them or subtract them you get 8. so we need to look for these two numbers so our two numbers are going to be 12 and 4 uh, but in this case we are going to use uh, 12 minus 4 so it can also be 12 times minus 4, which gives us minus 48. This becomes positive 8. So let's figure it out. So it's going to be 16x squared plus 12x minus 4x minus 3 is equals to 0. So you group this. And group this so this is the common value here is going to be four yes four x so it becomes four x as that if you open you get this plus three and then the common value here is going to be minus one so that becomes four x plus three so if you open this you're supposed to get this is equals to zero so it becomes 4x minus 1 and 4x plus 3 is equals to 0 so this is 4x minus 1 is equals to 0 so it's 4x is equals to 1 divided by 4 divided by 4 the first value of x is 1 over 4 and then the other one is 4x plus 3 is equals to 0 this is 4x is equals to minus 3 divided by 4 divided by 4. x is equals to minus 3 over 4. That's the second value of x. Let's do one last question and then you'll do some examples later. So we have this question. So let's rearrange our question. So it becomes x squared plus 5 over 6x. So you bring minus uh, 1 over 6 this side, it becomes minus 1 over 6 is equals to 0. So we get the LCM as usual. The LCM of 6 and 6 is 6. So we are going to multiply everywhere by 6. So you multiply this by 6. We multiply this by 6. We multiply this by 6. We multiply this by 6. So this becomes 6x squared plus 5x because 6 and 6 cancelled minus 1 because 6 and 6 cancelled is equals to 0. So now our ab is going to be 6 times negative 1 which gives us negative 6 and our b is going to be positive 5. So we need two numbers, we get multiply them, we get negative 6. If you add them, we get 
uh, positive 5. So this is going to be negative 6 times 1, which is negative 6, and then negative 1 times 6, that is. And then negative 1 plus 6, which is going to be positive 5. So this is going to be 6x squared minus x plus 6x minus 1 is equal to 0. You group these two. So the oddest common is x here, so it becomes 6x minus 1. And then what is common here is 1, so it's 6x minus 1. So you get x plus 1 and 6x minus 1 is equal to 0. So x plus 1 is equal to 0. So your x1 is negative 1. And then 6x minus 1 is equal to 0. So 6x is equal to 1 divided by 6 both sides. So your x2 is 1 over 6. So I hope you have been able to see how we did that. So you can check out more revision questions uh, in the app and notes. So see you in the next lesson.